19 local Beninese journalists were selected to compete in the creation of unique educational content on consumer protection, aired on their respective radio shows. These journalists represented various local radio stations across Benin in over four languages, which include French, Gon, Mina, and Dondi. At the onset of the competition, the journalists attended a one-day training on the client protection principles and client voice findings led by the Center for Financial Inclusion. They were then tasked with creating short radio productions on one of the four themes of the campaign, fraud, transparency, recourse, and responsible borrowing. Journalists were also challenged to find innovative ways to further educate consumers. In total, they submitted over 50 entries. As part of her winning entry, journalist Jessica Goth produced a television news report speaking with clients in the marketplace about their negative experiences with unregistered microfinance institutions. Two thirds of institutions of microfinance are not agreed to Bénin, according to an enquête réalisée by the Smart Campaign, an international institution international qui a pour mission de protéger les clients des systèmes financiers décentralisés au Bénin. Sur le terrain, les spoliés sont nombreux. Quelques-uns ont bien voulu nous donner leur témoignage. Suivez cet élément. She also spoke to the head of the Consortium Alafia, Mr. Ignace Dovi, who shed light on the state of the microfinance sector in Benin. Mr. Dovi expressed that Benin currently has 200 registered microfinance institutions, but over 700 institutions remain unregistered, as identified by recent census. He urged clients to be vigilant and report institutions that do not bear the registration seal and commended the Center for Financial Inclusion for its work in raising consumer awareness. Jessica Gauth also held a Facebook Live event at the Dantokpa market where she spoke to the market women on their rights and responsibilities as financial service consumers. The competition concluded with an awards ceremony in Kotonou Benin with regulators, financial service providers, and media representatives all in attendance. The journalist competition allowed us to multiply our outreach efforts in a sustainable way. While the Benin radio campaign ran for only eight weeks, these journalists now have consumer protection training that they continue to share with their peers, in addition to covering stories that raise awareness of consumer protection in Benin.